They're all corrupt. If this is going to work, we have to take down the Lord Regent. You did it! Somehow you took down the High Overseer Campbell against the odds. I knew you were our man, Corvo. With Campbell gone, we've hurt the Lord Regent immeasurably. And with Martin back, we'll have the finest strategist alive. The Lord Regent must be shitting himself in Dunwall Tower. Yes, and Campbell's journal, let's not forget. Our hope is that in these encoded pages, the location and condition of Emily Caldwin can be discovered. Our entire movement will mean nothing if we can't place the rightful heir on the throne. We must act fast. No doubt the Lord Regent is holding Emily somewhere, waiting to reveal her, to step out as the hero and further cement his regency. If he doesn't bring the young lady forth soon, there will be infighting among the nobles as to who should succeed the Empress. Yes, time is against us. But now you should take a well-earned rest, Corvo. We will decipher the contents of the High Overseer's journal and share them with you later. I know the golden cat, not as a patron. Hello, Corvo. I expect Martin will be joining us shortly. I hate to start your day with such a strange matter, but the servants heard something last night, moving through the storm drains beneath the building. Most likely a weeper, the poor bastard. There's no hope for them once the plague gets that far along. Nothing more than a shuffling corpse full of sickness and insects, if you ask me. I'd appreciate you investigating, just to be sure it's not a nosy guardsman that's getting too close. Here's a key to the hatches. I'd send a servant down there, but they'd die of fear on the spot, I'm afraid. Maybe Piero can concoct some sort of sleep poison for your crossbow if you want to go that route. Corvo, my friend, do you need ammunition or weaponry? Would you like me to craft something for you?
Corvo, my friend. Do you need ammunition or weaponry? Would you like me to craft something for you? They want to talk to you. I trust you remember Martin, an overseer before and 
Perhaps again, someday soon. I owe you thanks for my rescue. Indeed. You've given us a glimmer of hope, Corvo. Because we've gotten what we've wanted from Campbell's journal. You've done it. We know where Emily Caldwin is being held. The Golden Cat, of all places. A bathhouse for aristocrats. Little better than a cursed brothel. But there's an unfortunate twist. It appears that Pendleton's own kinsmen stand in our way. The twins, Morgan and Custis. Not only are they controlling Emily, but they have the controlling parliamentary votes we so desperately need. Yes, the Pendletons have to die. But most importantly, Emily must be brought here safely so we can protect her until the Lord Regent and his entourage have been dealt with. Pendleton's waiting for you on the dock. He's asked to brief you personally. I think it's best. I'll take you to the Golden Cat when you're ready. I've taken Lord Pendleton enough times, believe me. Whenever you're ready, I'll be waiting. Corvo. Corvo. I've asked to speak to you myself. You see, I'm sending you to kill my older brothers, Morgan and Custis. They're horrible men. It's true, as you may have heard. Cruel beyond words. Further, my brothers are close allies to the Lord Regent, and as long as they are in Parliament, we cannot gather the votes we'll need to stop the Lord Regent from further consolidating his power. These days, they're best known for exploiting their favor with him to cheat others out of their wealth. Let's just say that not every family evicted in quarantine for having the plague actually has the plague. I warned my brothers in every way I could. I really did, but they never did listen to me. They'll be at the Golden Cat tonight at their usual revels. They'll be protected by the City Watch, so it'll be dangerous. Now go. Please do it before I change my mind. I'll take you to the Golden Cat when you're ready. I've taken Lord Pendleton enough times, believe me. Get you as close as I can to the Golden Cat, Corvo. You'll have to go the rest of the way on your own. The entrance is near Holger Square. The main thing is to make sure that little girl, Emily, gets back all safe and sure. Them two Pendletons are there, so I'm guessing there'll be a lot of guards. Slackjaw might have some ideas on helping you get inside the cat if he don't kill you. This here's his territory. He and his Bottle Street gang hole up at the old Dunwall Whiskey Factory. They sell the elixir that folks use to fight off the plague. I'll lay low, but keep an eye out for you and the little lady you bring him back. Good luck to you. I know Emily must mean a lot to you. Be careful going up the street, Corvo. A river hand I know pulled up alongside me last night and said that...
Attention, Dunwall citizen. Anyone with information for Hey, you're just the man I was looking for. Slackjaw's wanting to talk to you. The, the doom, doom of Pandesia has come to the city. Yeah, he's the one. Hey, we got a message for you from Slackjaw. He wants to talk at the distillery. Blow a cloud. We got. I don't think they're going to last much longer in there. That's what they get for taking free swigs from the still. That tainted elixir is bad stuff, I guess. It's what they call eye ready, I think. Elixir is supposed to prevent the plague sickness and fight it off. But someone poisoned the bootleg still, and now we got the elixir that gives us the plague. I'll be waiting for you. Who's making that noise? Knock it off. Easy, easy. You just need a bit. Ain't you heard? Slackjaw keeps the good stuff for himself. Rest of us get one part elixir, three parts water now. Oh, that's just to make the swallow numbers. Well, I ain't taking no chances on getting the plane. He is a villain if I judge your looks aright. A villain I might have some work for. Somebody put plague in the brute tank. Half my men are weepers. Trapped three of them in the distillery. Rest are wandering in the street. Since it's so and I find myself short of able bodies, I may have a point of interest for you, see? Way I figure it, there ain't nobody worth killing round here except those two Pendletons over at the Golden Cat. I'm right, ain't I? See, 
Slat your nose. Them boys are twins. Rich, mean, and weird. Worse than most of their ilk. They've been laying low there a while, not sure why. There's a lot of security at the Golden Cat tonight, though. Special guests and the like. But you're gonna walk in there, dressed like that, and kill the Pendleton brothers? Maybe I got a better way to take care of them, too. If you're doing something for me first, understand? Someone, I don't know who, is killing my men, taking my territory, stealing my goods. Might be a fellow name of Galvani. I sent my best man to investigate, but he went missing and... Well, now I need someone to find what happened to him. Go to this Galvani's place. He lives nearby off Clavering Boulevard. You do that for me and I'll get your better way into the Golden Cat. like a lot of blood, really. Wish I saw. Not a big deal. Maybe you can go up later and take a look after the mother two are gone.
What do you think? I think he's dead, right? I know that. I mean, do we have suspects? Suspects? What? <laughs> suspects? We ain't gonna waste time solving who killed him. Personally, I'd buy who did it a drink. But what are you gonna put on your report? I'm gonna say we found one of Slackjaw's men inside, all dead and bloody, and that you are a stinking idiot. Hey, 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 wait a bit. What just occurred to me? How come it's always me who pay for the whiskeys? Shush up your mouth. You know I can't work out the right number of coin. It's embarrassing. Information for my missing guy. Let's have a listen. Slackjaw, it's me, Crowley. I'm making this in case I don't make it back. He was right. There is someone once you dead. What's the takeover of the distillery and the whole Bottle Street gang? And you'll never believe who it is, neither. At first, I did. That's why it's taken me so long. I yeah, wanted to be sure. To or eat. What's that? No! No! Ah! So Crowley's dead. Too bad. He was one of my best men. Still, you and me had a deal, and Slackjaw never goes back on a deal. Take this key. It ain't for the golden cat, no. This key's for the captain's chair. A hotel abandoned since the plague gutted this part of town. Take the stairs to the top. You can use the roof to get into the Golden Cat Brother. See that? Slackjaw keeps a bargain. Just as good as the men who run the city. Maybe a little better. You think about that. Now maybe we can help each other out again. I could get rid of the Pendletons for you. Quiet like and without killing them. But you gotta do something for me in return.
The cat's having a big reopening tonight. Lot of money clients. Including an arts dealer name of Bunting. He's got particular tastes, or so I've been told by some of the ladies. Got some pretty fancy stuff locked away at his place. And the only thing preventing me from nabbing all that loot is the combination to a safe. Of course, the Pendletons have been camped out there for months too, not sure why. So that means a lot of the City Watch and other soldier types. Bring me that combination, my masked friend, and then I take care of the Pendleton brothers. Just like that. You ain't never even gonna touch them. And I promise, I won't kill them, and no one will ever see them again. Now if that ain't a deal, Slackjaw don't know what is. What a mess, huh? Whole town's gone to trash. Look out for the watch. They got no respect for all. Want to look at some of the things I've found? Good prices, I swear. Dunwall citizens, due to criminal activity near Holger Square, the area is now under lockdown. Watchtowers and support... How does it work? What? The Wall of Light? Isn't it a wonder? It's one of Sokolov's latest inventions. They say the idea came to him in a vision. Yes. Yes, but... Did you... Stars! For me! Damn! Get off this to get out! Isn't it a wonder? It's one of Sokolov's latest inventions. I know you're here somewhere, scum. Attention, Dunwall citizens. This district is now under a mandatory whale oil ban. Compliance will be strictly enforced. Filthy mudlark. 
Let a tramp like you get elixir. We've been on half rations for a week. I ain't catching the plague. Hand it over. No, please. It's... No, I need it for my little one so he won't get sick. Thank you. Thank you, sir. You saved me. How can I thank you? I have nothing. Wait. Take this. It's the backdoor service key to Bunting's house, the art dealer on the main street. I used to work for him, you know, before the plague. He's let all his servants go, but he's still there, probably hoping he'll be able to sell something from that safe of his. I don't know what he has left, but it's all I have to offer you. Please take it. What? 